Hello, this will be an unboxing video of another budget-friendly action camera, and this time it is another Polaroid camera. Actually, I almost said action camera, but I think this isn't really classified as an action camera, so let me be very careful with what I'm going to say. I have 18 action cameras, so I'm so used to saying that this is an action camera, so I'm just going to be a little bit careful, and I'm just going to say this is a camera, because unless it says action camera here, I don't think I will be able to say that this is an action camera. So let's get started and let's see what the box actually says before I say that this is an unboxing video of an action camera. Okay, so what do we have here? Polaroid. The Polaroid. I'm sorry, there's a little bit of a little bit of a, a light beam here. I'll be right back. Okay, that's a little bit better. Sorry, there was fair amount of light over there. Okay, so the Polaroid Wave underwater streaming camera. I'm not going to test this camera underwater, so I'm not going to be able to comment on that when I make my review. Let's just say that one more time. Okay, the Polaroid Wave underwater streaming camera. Something, some things that are advertised here. HD video recording, waterproof, 18 megapixel photos, protective case. This is the action camera that we will be taking a look at. Okay, Sorry, this is the camera, I keep saying action, that we will be taking a look at today. So does it say action camera? Um, let's see, package, contents, Polaroid Wave underwater camera. Okay, so the Polaroid Wave underwater camera, minimal accessories, HD video recording, 18 megapixel photos, 2.4 inch screen, that's quite nice. So this is definitely probably going to be larger than an action camera, which is why it's probably not an action camera. It's not small enough to be considered an action camera. So we have a little diagram here showing, or rather a kind of a markup showing uh, where some of the buttons are, um, the menu and the mode button that's for, where's button number four? Okay, menu, mode button, four. Okay, so we probably have video, photo, and playback mode. As our modes, we have a zoom in button, so we have some zoom capability here. Now let's actually start. I had removed some of the plastic here just so it would be easier and you wouldn't have to watch me trying to open this for a few minutes. That would probably be very boring. So we've taken a look at the box. It says 18 megapixel photos, HD video recording, waterproof. Again, I'm not going to comment on how waterproof this camera might be because I will not be submerging it. I'm kind of afraid to do that without an additional underwater housing. So let's see what we have in this box over here. Okay, so we have our plastic here. So we have this, um, we have some cards here, warranty card, okay. And we have the camera itself, which looks very cool. Looks like, looks just as it does on the cover of the box here. So we have this, um, this manual, user manual. Um, showing you the accessories, uh, probably minimal accessories. Lots of buttons here. Um, flash. Oh, they, do they really have flash? Okay, that's cool. If they do have flash. Selfie indicator number four. Mm, menu mode button is number nine. Okay, so we have zoom. Micro USB port, micro uh, SD memory card slide. Just keep in mind that as with most, the vast majority of action cameras that you will... Uh, Sorry, I keep saying action cameras. The vast majority of these cameras that you'll purchase, they will not, um, they will not come with a, a micro SD memory card, which looks like this. This is, was a separate purchase on my part, so you will need to separately purchase a micro SD memory card unless it's a special uh, bundle, which includes a memory card as part of the package. Here, you will need to separately purchase a micro SD memory card for your camera. Let's make sure I don't say um, action camera. Your Polaroid Wave underwater streaming camera. Make sure that you have a micro SD memory card or else you will not be able to uh, store any photos. You won't be able to take any photos or create any videos because there will not be any memory. The cameras do not have the, built, the kind of built-in memory that you'll get from the memory that you'll get if you insert a micro SD memory card. So this is a separate purchase not included. I will be using this for the purposes of showing you how to insert the memory card and of course for testing the camera, but please purchase a micro SD card memory card separately. They're very small. And this is the manual is telling you that there's a slot for the micro SD memory card. So just keep in mind that if you just buy this camera, you will need a memory card in order to actually store your footage and to have your footage here in the first place. 
Okay, now that we've talked about that, let's see what kind of minimal accessories we have. And I say minimal, not as a bad thing, but because maybe this video will be shorter because otherwise my unboxing videos tend to be very, very long. The camera itself, the Polaroid Wave, I'm not going to say action camera because again, as I kind of suspected, which is not a bad thing again, just, just an observation, this is quite a bit larger than a typical action camera, which will usually be maybe one third of this size. So, which is kind of refreshing because... A lot, a lot of these, like an actual camera, full-size camera, typically won't cost $54. So hopefully this was a good deal, but we're going to see when we actually make videos and photos if this, if I consider this to be good value for the money. So we have the camera. This is called the Polaroid Wave camera, which you see here. And we have some covering here that we're going to take off. And you can probably see me in the background. Yes, there I am. We have our 2.4 inch screen and we're going to turn it on momentarily. You have a button for zoom, button for going between different modes, a power button slash record button. And I'm not really sure what this button does, but we'll, we'll find out. Oh, and you have flash. This is, this is awesome. So for $54 camera, again, that's the price that I purchased it for, uh, before tax and shipping, not going to guarantee any price that, that you'll pay. This is the camera itself, the Polaroid wave. So we're going to turn it on momentarily after we show you the accessories. And then we're going to go outside, take some photos, create some videos, and show you the results. So if you'd rather not listen to me talk about this camera, feel free to skip to the next part of this video where we will have sample videos and photos with this Polaroid wave uh, camera. So are there any additional... I, cannot, I don't think I can take this case off. So that is, there it is. It's supposed to be waterproof, but again, I'm, I'm really not going to submerge it underwater. So here's the slot uh, for our memory card. So see there's an arrow right here. All we're gonna do is push down and push out and there it is your USB port where you're gonna be able to insert the USB cable for charging your camera and transferring files from your camera to your computer. Most importantly for now, before we create new videos, we want to insert our micro SD memory card. So let's do that right now. Hopefully without breaking anything like I sometimes I'm afraid I will do. Okay. Okay, now I'll need my thin metal object, which I usually do in order to place the memory card in. So listen to the click sound. You'll hear it very soon. There's the click, and we have the memory card inserted successfully. So let's just put this back here, and now we're ready to turn on our... Uh, oh, no. come on. You just, uh, there we go ready to turn on the Polaroid Wave action, no, Polaroid Wave camera, <laughs> I keep saying action camera, this is much bigger than a typical action camera, so I do not believe it says it's an action camera because it doesn't say so. So I will title the video appropriately. Let's see, there's an OK button slash a power button, so we're going to turn on the camera and show you some settings, show you the menu, then we're going to go outside and make some videos, and you'll see those videos and photos in the next part of this video. So right away we can see that we have a photo feature. This is the default feature that comes up. We can take we can take photos using this OK button and of course uh, we have our memory card. Here's our battery life indicator. There's flash, uh, an option for flash. So let's look at this mode button. So now I've clicked this mode button. Now we're on video mode. You can see over here we can record some videos and then playback mode here if we have anything photos and videos that we created. Right now we have nothing because we haven't recorded um, haven't recorded anything. Okay, sorry, just uh, get the camera. Okay. So, playback mode, photo mode, video mode. So let's look at the settings. So this button is our power button and also our capture button. So this must be the settings button maybe. Oh, interesting. This is actually the record button. For It just started recording when I clicked this button. Interesting. I thought the record button would be the OK button. And that is the button to stop recording. So let's click the OK button and see what happens. Interesting. This is also the record button, and this is also the record button. Huh. Uh, quite interesting. Let's stop. So it looks like there's no actual settings here. So interestingly enough, and I've never seen this before, we don't actually seem to have multiple video resolution settings, which is fine. I like simplicity. So if you're on video mode, all you have to do is click this button or this button to, to record your videos. So interestingly enough, we have 
we have two buttons for recording videos, this button and this button. So let's try the same thing with taking pictures. Click the mode button here. And now we can take photos. Let's try clicking this button over here. Capture the photo. And try this button again. And it also captured a photo. So interestingly enough, there are two buttons for uh, for capturing, which is very cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. And that, that actually works very well because if you're taking a picture of yourself, a selfie, or starting to recording while you're while the camera's facing us, you can actually click this button. You don't actually have to find this button, just click here to record. So very interesting that you can actually have two buttons for capturing on this camera. Uh, that's a very interesting concept, I think. So, and also the concept of simplicity, having only one um, setting uh, for videos. So videos and photos. See, I don't know if there's any more buttons that allow you to change the amount of megapixels or change the resolution of the, the video. Um, sorry, just the tripod. So that's actually uh, very unique to me and I kind of like it because it means that it's super easy to use. You don't have to think about, oh, which resolution should I use? How many frames per second? How many megapixels? You just click this mode button to cycle through playback mode, photo mode, uh, and video mode. And, um, and that's it. That seems to be it for these settings, very minimal settings. You record uh, videos, you take pictures, you can play them back, and then this button, hold it down to turn off the camera. So one video setting, resolution setting, one photo setting, and that's it. Very, very simple. It looks extremely easy to use because we don't have to have, worry about all these settings. We have the memory card, which we've inserted, and we can show you that we just started recording a little video, took a couple of pictures so that we are ready. So we are definitely ready to use this camera. Again, once you've inserted the memory card, which is a separate purchase, separately purchase a micro SD memory card, and that will be inserted here. So we've turned off the camera. Again, just push down over here to show you where your USB cable will be inserted. So that reminds me, we didn't show you the accessories. So we got the camera, we've got the USB cable, as I mentioned, you will need this in order to uh, charge your camera and to transfer, oops, transfer the files. So one end will go to your uh, camera, which is over here. One end to the camera, the other end to your computer, your laptop, desktop, uh, computer tower, etc., And then you can charge the camera uh, and transfer files from your um, your camera to your computer. So I do like the design, uh, the dustproof design. If, if you drop the camera, if it kind of falls down something, you just wipe the dust away with your finger. So very cool. Uh, we have four times digital zoom. So the zoom buttons are here and here. So if you want to if you want to zoom in while you're taking a picture, uh, digital zoom. I think is probably, see it says digital zoom. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, digital zoom. Digital zoom is lower quality than optical zoom. So you see I'm holding it down, this up button to zoom in. Digital zoom is probably kind of um, lower quality than optical zoom, so I'm probably not, probably not gonna use digital zoom, but ni nice to know that they have this option. Waterproof, I'm not going to test that. But here's the camera. Those are the settings. We have this strap that you can use if you'd like. No extra batteries, and that's it. The only accessories are the strap and the USB cable, which is, of course, very important for transferring files, charging your camera. And, of course, the camera itself is here. We just showed you that there's only one video setting, one photo setting. This is the Polaroid Wave underwater streaming camera. The next part of this video will be sample videos and sample photos taken with this camera so you can decide for yourself if this is something that you might be interested in purchasing. This has been an unboxing video of the Polaroid Wave camera. Hello, this is going to be another video test. The Polaroid Wave camera. While it's starting to snow just a little bit more, I want to make another video test. This camera has four times digital zoom. <clears throat> As you can see here, digital zoom. Going to zoom out now. This is a video test with the Polaroid Wave action camera.
Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera, not an action camera. Certainly larger than a typical action camera, so I believe this is not described as an action camera on the box, so I'm just going to say this is a camera. Video test with the Polaroid Wave <coughs> camera. video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. Hello, this is a video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. One resolution setting. Uh, hopefully the video quality is good. This is just a video test. How well can you hear me right now? How well, uh, how good do you think the video quality is on this sort of budget friendly camera. I purchased it for around $54 on Amazon before tax, shipping, etc. So I'm not going to guarantee that you're going to pay that price, but uh, nonetheless, um, here we are with a camera that is certainly not the most expensive one, not the cheapest one either. There are some uh, cameras, specifically action cameras, which can cost $50 or less. However, as this camera is larger than a typical action camera and it is, um, and it is not labeled as an action camera on the box. Again, here it is. This is the Polaroid Wave camera. Seeing as this is not really an action camera, um, I am quite happy with the price as long as its primary function is is very good. So let's just hope so with the separate photo test that we are creating uh, separately while we take some photos. But in this segment, we are just recording some videos that we will play back for you as soon as possible. Once we are back at the computer, this is a video test with the Polaroid Wave action camera video test. How well can you hear me right now? How good do you think the video quality is? We are here on this late afternoon Monday, very nice. Day, very nice weather. The sun is starting to starting to set, sort of, and we're just making a video test about this with this Polaroid Wave camera video test. Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. Hello, this is a video test with the Polaroid Wave camera while it's snowing a little bit. Just to give you an idea of the video quality here. Don't know if you can see the snow. Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. How good do you think the video quality is? How well can you hear me right now? I believe there's only one video resolution setting on this camera. So this is a test of the microphone. Supposedly an underwater camera, but I'm not going to <clears throat> not going to fully submerge the camera underwater. Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. We also have the digital zoom.
video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. <clears throat> with digital zoom. Four times digital zoom. Zooming out. Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. Hello, this is another video test with the Polaroid Wave camera which is pictured here, the Polaroid Wave camera. We are making some video tests with the video recording feature. We can also take photos and we will have a separate video on photo tests. However, this video will just be about the video tests on this camera that we recently purchased on Amazon. Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. On this uh, late afternoon Monday, very nice day, very nice weather. This is a video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. Video test with the Polaroid Wave camera. Video test with the Polaroid Wave 